Elden Ring developers have come forward in response to claims of working excessive overtime with low pay. If you remember a while back, there were some posts on Career Connection, which is a workplace review site that claimed that from software employees were underpaid and facing a lot of overtime. Well, now GameIndustry.biz has collected testimonies from a number of from software employees who spoke up about their own experiences with Crunch while working on Elden Ring. One source tries to mitigate the claims by comparing the work environment at From Software to other companies in Japan. Specifically, this source said, the general industry in Japan is not that crazy compared to my experience in other fields. Japan has a lot of holidays and there is a rule that From Software staff shouldn't stay later than 10 p.m. And 90% of the time, staff won't stay later than 9 p.m. Now that sounds pretty late to be in the office and there's probably a bit of missing context here. So let's unpack that quote a little bit before we get on with the rest of the report. Japan has certainly built up a reputation over the years in regards to its work culture, but legislature starting in 2018 has moved things to eight hour workdays with a 40 hour per week average. The legal amount of overtime is actually 45 hours per month, but there are a variety of exemptions depending on the size of the employer and if you're considered a highly skilled worker slash manager. Now, the gamesindustry.biz article doesn't state what the average start times are at From Software or how long breaks are, but it does note that the schedule probably isn't the standard nine to five we are used to in the US. Another employee similarly told gamesindustry.biz that they didn't feel overworked, saying there hasn't been much overtime work for me. However, across different departments, the story really starts to change. One source said, during critical periods of game releases, I often had to work early mornings in overtime for two to three months. Another said, it's not as if crunch happens on a daily basis, but that it's more common during the ROM check for the publisher or two to three months before release. Now that does sound on par with what we've heard from other studios that have experienced crunch in the past. Things get harder and the days get longer as games get closer to launch. The industry at large is still trying to figure out how to mitigate the issue but at the very least, usually the extra work comes with extra compensation. However, this doesn't seem to be the case at From Software. A source told gamesindustry.biz, we were paid late night overtime, but that was half of our usual hourly rate. Now note that in Japan, the norm is just like in the US to pay employees more than their hourly rate for overtime. In fact, next spring companies in Japan will be required by law to pay time and a half for any hours worked over 60. So that's kind of a large 20 hour window in there. Uh, where reportedly before employers were paying their employees like time and a quarter. So 1.25 times their regular rate. There was also a direct complaint about low pay. One source said salary is not adequate at From Software, especially compared to the cost of living in Tokyo. They also added that others at the studio did not appear to be satisfied with their salaries either. Gamesindustry.biz did do some legwork here, reporting that the cost of living in Tokyo is roughly about $1,000 per person per month, not including rent, which is estimated to be an additional $1,500 a month for a single bedroom apartment. They also compared the average salary at From Software, about $25,000 a year, to the average salary at similarly sized game company Atlas, which lands around $38,000. So the math isn't perfect here, and there's certainly a lot of other factors to consider on a case by case basis. But with the numbers presented on average, From Software full time employees are possibly breaking even year to year or even losing money depending on their living situation while developers next door to them are making about $13,000 more on average per year. So not exactly what you would imagine for the developers behind one of the biggest games of the year, Elden Ring also being the culmination of a lot of From Software games that came before it, you know, Demon's Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, uh, there's a legacy there and uh, you know, that it's got a, a, a prestigious history kind of with these great games that have been made before it. After the immediate success of Elden ring, Bandai Namco, the game's publisher, announced that it would be raising salaries company-wide by about $4,344 a year. It's unclear and unlikely that From Software also raised salaries as the most current job postings for the company start at a base of about $1,600 a month. Aside from the issues with pay and crunch related overtime, gamesindustry.biz noted that employees do seem to be content working at From Software, and some even do so with a familiar persistence and tenacious optimism. It's kind of tense in a way, one employee said. There's a lot of struggle to get things right, but if you get over the hump, it is very satisfying. It's just like you defeated a boss in Dark Souls. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to share your comments down below, and for more video game news and updates, stay tuned right here to Inside Gaming.